Hi there. Hope everyone is having a good time. When we say the name of the medication colchicine, the disease that comes to mind is gout or acute pericarditis because these diseases are commonly treated with colchicine. Colchicine has anti-inflammatory properties. It decreases inflammation by decreasing the white blood cell migration and decreasing the phagocytosis. LODU CO2 is a clinical trial registered at the Australian New Zealand Clinical Trial Registry. It wanted to find out the effectiveness of colchicine in preventing heart disease. This was a randomized, controlled and double-blinded trial. The study involved around 5,500 patients. They were divided into two groups of 1 to 1 ratio. They were followed for about 28 months. The primary endpoint was death from heart disease. Compared to the placebo group, a lower percentage of patients had the primary endpoint event. So they concluded that receiving 0.5 mg of colchicine once a day was effective in decreasing the cardiovascular events in patients with chronic coronary artery disease. Nausea, vomiting and diarrhea are common side effects of colchicine. It is usually dose related and not seen at lower doses. It should be carefully used in patients with kidney or liver dysfunction and also in elderly patients. Detoxin and grapefruit can lead to increased concentrations of colchicine. One more drug interaction to remember regarding colchicine is that colchicine can increase the rhabdomyolysis side effects of statin medications. As colchicine can decrease the absorption of cyanocobalamin, we may need to supplement with vitamin B12. Adverse effects of colchicine could be monitored through CBC, hepatic and renal function tests. Diving into the anti-inflammatory properties of this ancient drug could be beneficial. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time with more exciting information.